Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet, and we are still here at Kajari, and one of the things I wanted to check out here, this is the Kaji no Ri Mutant Lobster Mission. Now, this is the first part of the Monster Fish Mission for this location. Since it was approaching nighttime, I thought, you know, why not? We might try this a little bit. We've got to catch some mutant lobsters. Let me go ahead and read the mission to you here. Just so you get what we're going after here. We got the Kajino Re Mutant Lobster. The attacks of the giant grouper on fishing vessels have recently become more frequent. A lobster boat sang here not long ago. This monster seems to really like lobsters, especially those as mutated as itself. To attract lobsters, slowly drag your bait along the bottom. Catch a few of these mutant lobsters near the rocky islands at night and get ready for a monster hunt. Okay, well we're not really near any of the rocky islands, but we will... I'm pretty sure I have some navigation buoys that will get us there. Looks like we need to wait until it gets dark, and then we gotta try it and see what happens. So basically I went in here and set up a couple of bottom rods, one of my, my big rod and my Luck Zendora, my Luck Zendora. It's not my biggest one, but actually I might go ahead and set this one up too, but I'm not going to put the hooks really huge. But let's go ahead and see, let's see if put muscle meat on this one too. Alright, so we got mus clam meat, muscle meat, muscle meat. Alright, size 5 odd hooks. I hope that's not too big. Hopefully it'll work. We'll see. Never heard of dragging at the bottom, but we are going to see what that does. And let's see if we can't find a location that's a little bit closer to where we... Let's see if we can't find a little a location that's a little bit closer to the Rocky Islands we're talking about, because we're way out here. Way, way out here. Let's see here. Okay, so it looks like they've even told us where to go. Well, that's perfect. I wasn't sure they were going to do that or we were at the find. Okay, so they marked all these locations which will be successful. I think this one is where I want to go because this has got navigation buoy nearby. Well, actually, so does this one. And I could just travel on a straight line. I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Alright, here we are. Figure go ahead and do the traveling while it's not night. And we will fast forward till night. I guess we start at 9 o'clock. Alright. Well, it looks like we've met the conditions. There's all kinds of stuff down there for sure. Let me go ahead and get these rods set up. Now, this has to be drug along the bottom. So at least that's what it's saying. Uh, let me see. I want to put the two heaviest rods out there just in case. So let's throw this one out. I don't know how deep it is, but we'll find out. This one only really cast out so far. We're going to lower that down until it touches bottom, or at least gets close to bottom. 
Well, it did say drag. Alright, we'll just... We'll get it down there. That's probably got it. Alright. We'll set that one there. We got the clam meat on this one. This has got a little bit smaller hook, so I'm hoping. I'm just gonna reel it in until it stands up. There we go. That way. Okay, I did. Are you kidding me? Something biting it? Something started nibbling on one of them. Well, let's get up here on the boat. It did say it needed to do it slowly. There are things down there. So I'm just going to drag it at about 1%. Pull up my map. Alright, I am going probably, well, not in the best direction, because it does say these two. So I'm gonna... Okay, I think we're getting a bite. Well, it said we're pulled away. Well, that sucks. Yeah, I don't know how long it's going to take for us to actually get a bite, but we'll... I'll bring it back if anything happens. Let's just stop the boat. We're definitely getting nettles. <coughs> I couldn't tell you which one's biting. Well, I know one surefire way to get something to bite. Get out another rod. <laughs> Works every time, usually. Okay, we are definitely getting something on this one. They're barely biting. This one I might want to check. No? I don't know, guys. There's something on there? Ah. Ah, there was something on there. It's a Japanese spiny lobster. I think that was because of a snag, honestly. Because you know, Ri Mushi won to catch a certain number of underwater items. We completed the challenge. All right, let's throw this one out again. There's definitely something on there, but it was not quite what we were after there. Okay, let's let that hit bottom. Yeah, I kept saying 
it was being pulled away, so I don't know if that meant... Let me take a look at the map here. Yeah, I'm not sure, guys, if this has to be moving or if it just needs to be still. Might need to do a little more research, because a lot of these missions, they don't tell you everything very well. Uh, guys, we have something on here. Let's see what this is. wonder if this is what we're after, or if we've just got another one of those spiny lobsters. Let's see. No, nope, it's a young big fin reef squid. <laughs> so, not what we're after. And we got something on that one, too. Yeah, this seems like these little squid, these big fin squid, they seem to hang out. Okay, we definitely got something on that one. Okay, this is a little bit bigger. Be nice if it's what we're after. Could be another squid, though. Yep, big fin re squid. Huh, shoot. Yeah, that is not going to do. But well, we know now that they go for the clam meats. Tell you what, let's... I'm, I'm going to check something here, guys. I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I am back. Yeah, I did some research on this. I am doing this all wrong. <laughs> all wrong. This is basically a snagging mission. They don't really tell you that. They should have said, snag the lobsters off the rocks. But apparently that's what we have to do. We have to, just like in some of the other monster missions where we had to cast out and try to snag something, that's what you got to do here. You actually are supposed to snag it. Just like I got that spiny lobster. Same thing. Same thing. So let me go ahead grab this rod. It did say you don't have to use the heavy rod. You could just use any rod. And you just throw a, toss it over there and try to snag a, a lobster. You just slowly drag it along the bottom until something And I think we got something here. There he is. <laughs> That's how it's done. They could have explained that a little bit better, to be honest. But it's not as hard as it looks, once you know how to do it. But, yeah, the I'm just using six-odd hook. It doesn't really matter what size hook, I guess. But I'm going to go ahead and... Do I have to keep these or just catch them? Looks like I just release them. Let's see how hard these are to catch. I don't, so far, I mean, that was one try and I got one right away. There we go. Well, this isn't going to be very hard at all. Well, <laughs> that's not exactly a lobster let's go ahead and discard that you didn't see that right I, that was a lobster you actually saw me catch another lobster right okay not a plastic bag surprise what a no boot And we got something else. Hopefully it's another lobster. Yep, it is. Mutant lobster. Look how they glow in the dark. I wonder if I can get a pic. No, I can't get a picture of them. I that's the only way I can take them. But 
This it seems to work pretty well, honestly. Shouldn't take too long. Now, I don't know about catching the big guy himself, but something tells me this this monster grouper is going to be something else. He might be the biggest fish in the entire game. We'll have to see. Just how big he can get. 414 is the biggest fish I've caught in this game so far. That was a striped marlin. Unfortunately, I caught him off screen. I'm hoping that I catch another unique one like that. But for now, I've only got pictures to show it. Thank goodness I got the pictures. Okay, I don't look like I'm going to get one this time. But you can just keep recasting. I'm going to put it past the rocks over on this side and see if that doesn't improve things. Okay, I think we finally got one here. Ah. Got a rusty hook and sinker. <laughs> Let's discard that. Oh, Lord. We're going to be... This is going to take a lot of off-screen time, guys, but that's basically it. And we got something snagged here. I don't know if we got us a boot or a piece of twine or we got what we're after we got us a rag okay there you go that always works <laughs> yeah we basically just got to do that until we get one to latch on it may take a little while you're going to be spending a little bit of time i guess but keep at it and eventually you will get all ten of them Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.